Hi guys, uh, good day to all. Today I would like to share in how to use uh, bibliometric analysis. Alright, so which is obviously uh, we need to log in into Scopus. Then we need to use uh, using graduate email which is from our university official email which is uh, from me. I'm from UTM so I need to log in using graduate email. Alright, so just click here. Okay, just sign in. Just remember your password. Okay, you can see this is brought to you by uh, that is my from my university, University Technology Malaysia. All right, so we can start to exploring that is uh, they have uh, documents, authors, and affiliation. Authors and documents. All right, so we can search within uh from the all field or article title authors first authors and abstract keywords and others so i'm going to check it with article title okay so for authors also you can enter the last name and first name okay for the documents that you need to when you want to search document you need to know the three terms which is uh firstly you need to know what's your keyword study and you should use for the and or and not like this one you can you can see this is more specific than the whole and the exclude the terms that you want to search okay then for me i will try right now so i'm just you need to use the quotation mark if you use them which is public space all right so right now i'm clicking uh, quotation mark public space quotation mark and and well being so i'm click searching right now Okay, the document result is appear. You can see. So this one you can edit, save, and set alerts. Okay, this one you can set up. Uh, also for your specific, which is this open access. This is a specific years. You can click twenty twenty. This one. Okay, this one also author names. This is subject area. This is document type, which is for article. You can click if you want. Then these are more the type that you can set up. Then you can click limit to. Then this will uh, appear when you click limit to. Then uh, for example, uh, right now I will showing how to extract the data. Then this is a 175 only document result. Then you can click on the document or you want to click tick or untick like this one okay so we continue how to extract the data so you click the csv export all right so this one uh you can select the method uh do you want to export which is uh they have uh rs format csv bit text and plain text okay so i want to use csv all right so this is uh, what information uh, do you want to export so that have a uh, citation information uh, bibliographical information abstract and keywords and also our funding details and other information so i want to click this one so after you done just click export here Alright, you can see CSV file exported. See, you downloaded file for more detail. So, after we are done for our download, uh, can we can we can continue by the next step to extract the data. Okay, firstly, you need to open the software. Okay, 
then you can how to use to extract the data to create the mapping okay firstly you need to click the create then you need to create a map based on bibliographic data click then click next okay after that you click the read data from bibliographic database files then you click next then i'm just using scopus data just click scopus so you click to browse your file here then for example like me i'm click scopus okay just click okay then after that uh, after you finish to click uh, then click to next then uh, waiting to reading scopus file Okay, this is a choose type of analysis uncounting methods that do you want. So, this is a type of analysis. Co-authorship, co-occurrence, citation, bibliographic, and co-citation. Okay, so this one units of analysis that are if you want to do authors, organization, or countries. So, for occurrence, so also you can... Uh, set up the author's keywords so like that uh, so after you are confirmed so like that lah author keywords then you just click next so you need to choose uh, the minimum number that you need uh, this word is uh, the keywords then the threshold that you need uh, so we can adjust so i'm um, just click next so number of keywords to be selected so this one so you continue then click next this is a selected keywords so also you can click or unclick okay so you click finish so this one the unconnected item you need to click yes Just waiting for running layout. So, the mapping will be appear. Okay, these are all public spaces related to paper and well being. Okay, so. Uh, I want to sharing how to setting the uh, visualization label lines and colors okay for visualization we can set up the scale okay this is big scale and the uh, medium okay this is a label we can set also okay this is a big it's a bit okay from the circle and frames you can change this is a circle then this is a front you can choose and the maximum lengths lines okay this is color lines okay curve you can set up okay this is a color also you can set if you want so uh the other things uh, i will sharing how to look at the items that this item that you can see the most of the terms that are related with your keyword of study so this is a file okay so how to check the whole visualization this is showing uh, to you by the years this is a density visualization also you can see just click here and also i want to sharing how to uh, uh to save your image uh, just like just click screenshot okay just click uh, the folders Contoh, for example public spaces okay just click save then automatically will be saved into your file okay so for another things so i will sharing how to searching for your country for example just click search next uh, then partnership just countries then these are minimum numbers of countries per documents 
then you can set up here okay just click next okay this is the ratio the number of country to be selected and click next okay this is the country that we find selected uh, okay just click finish okay this one unconnected items you need to click yes okay this one will showing the number of um or the number of country that we can see here okay i think that's all for me thank you bye bye